All right, in this video, we're going to cover the solutions to the three questions that I gave you at the end of the previous video. As always, if these videos have helped and you have the financial means to support the channel, you can hit the join button down below for two or five dollars Canadian a month to help support the channel and help me make more videos. Uh, no matter what, even if you're just liking, commenting, subscribing, doing all that stuff, I appreciate it all. So thank you for your help. Now let's get into the solutions for these questions. So the first one, we have to simplify this complex problem. Negative two x squared over y squared times w to the fourth, all cubed. So, uh, we don't really have anything similar inside of our brackets here, but we do have this cubed. So what this does is it multiplies everything inside by itself three times. So basically, this power is getting distributed to the top and the bottom. So another way of writing this would be negative two x squared, all cubed, divided by y squared times w to the fourth, all cubed. Now at this point, what we can do is we can take this cubed and we can distribute it inside into each different variable or constant. So this is the same thing as saying negative two cubed times x squared cubed divided by y squared cubed times w to the fourth cubed. So at this point, because we have a form where we have x to the m multiplied to another power, so to the n, uh, this is the same thing as x to the m times n. So the exponents multiply each other. So that's what we'll do here. So negative two cubed is negative two times negative two times negative two. That gives us negative eight. Uh, x squared cubed. So just to show the case, this one example here, this is the same thing as saying x times x, and we do this three times. So x times x times x times x times x times x. This gives us a total of six x's. So we get negative eight times x to the sixth. On the bottom, y squared cubed. Well, two times three gives us six. So we're gonna have y multiplied by itself six times. And we're multiplying w by itself four times. And we're doing that three times. So four times three gives us 12. So that's w to the 12. So here is our first solution to the first problem. And that is a simplified way of writing negative 2x squared over y squared w to the 4 cubed. Okay, next question. Here we have a negative sign out front. So because the negative sign is out front, this does not get squared when we do our square here. So we're going to keep this negative sign out front, and we're going to do to the inside what we did last time. So this too is going to distribute onto all of these things. So we're going to get 6 squared times uh, x squared squared times y to the 0 squared. Okay, so negative. Well, what's 6 squared? That's 36. Uh, what is x squared squared? So that's x times x. Do that twice. So that's going to be x times itself four times. So we have x to the 4. And what is y to the 0? Well, y to the 0 is just 1, right? Anything to the 0 as long as it's not zero, is going to be one. So we'll assume that y is a non-zero number here. But hey, maybe just for simplicity, let's just keep it with y. So uh, because we have a power to the power, we're going to multiply these out. So zero times two gives us zero. So this is left as y to the zero. So when we simplify this, we get negative 36 x to the four, y zero. And of course, that y to the zero is just going to be the same thing as one. So this will be left as negative 36 x to the 4. So we've simplified that one. Okay, let's do one more, which will be a little bit more complicated than the things we just did. So this will be 2x squared over y to the negative 1 squared multiplied by 3x to the negative 2. Ooh. This one's a little bit scarier. So I'm going to write all these out in full. So this is going to be 2 times x times x. And then we have y to the negative 1. So this is going to be the same thing as 1 divided by y. Okay, but this looks a little bit more difficult to keep track of. So I'm going to just keep this as y to the negative 1 for now. Okay, and this is going to be squared. So actually, I'm just going to write this out again. Because we're squaring it. So we're going to multiply it by itself. So that's going to be 2 times x times x times y to the negative 1. Uh, and now we're multi multiplying this out by 3x to the negative 2. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to say this is 3 times x to the negative 1 times x to the negative 1. 
So that's just x to the negative 1 times itself. That gives us x to the negative 2. Okay. So at this point, there's a few things I can do. Uh, one thing I can do is I can find out that 1 to the y minus 1 is the same thing as just y. And x to the minus 1 is the same thing as 1 over x. So I'm going to make these conversions just to look at these visually. So we're going to end up with 2 times x times x times y up top. We're going to end up with 2 times x times x times y up top because this y to the negative 1 is just being flipped over to the other side. And then we have 3 times x to the negative 1 times x to the negative 1. This is going to be the same thing as 3 over x times x. So basically, whenever you see a negative sign, you can just flip it, the numerator, the denominator for that variable, and that'll become positive. So at this point, we can multiply these together. So the 2 times 2 times 3 is going to give us 12. Uh, we have x times x times x times x. So that's going to be x to the 4. And we have y times y, so it's going to be y squared. And we're dividing that by x squared since we have x times x on the bottom. Uh, at this point, we have x to the 4 divided by x to the 2. So this is like saying x times x times x times x over x times x. So we'll know that two of these will cancel. And we'll be left with only x squared on top. So this will be the same thing as 12x squared times y squared. So that's the solutions to all the questions here. If there's any questions, as always, you can ask me in the comments below, and I'll get back to you when I can.